that could give patients an alternative. It's being tested right here in New York. Sharon Crowley shows us exactly how it works. We filled the balloon so it encompasses that whole space. New York Orthopedics' founder and director, Dr. Stephen Nicholas, shows us a new FDA-approved medical device and technique being used to repair torn rotator cuffs. He demonstrates how the saline balloon is inserted into the shoulder joint. This stops the top and bottom shoulder bones from rubbing together and causing a patient pain. It sits here under the bone and acts as a strut to hold down the humeral head. The striker's in-space balloon implant dissolves over time. The procedure still requires surgery, but the recovery is shorter and the results are promising. You don't have to be in a sling for an extended period of time, and the early results have said were, the healing rates are faster. This is ideal for older patients who are not getting good results from traditional surgery. The candidates for this are the elder, elderly patient who has a chronic torn rotator cuff that's not functioning. People, as, as we get older, often tear their rotator cuff, which is a group of muscles around the shoulder that help elevate the shoulder and, and rotate it, and we use it for everyday activities. Dr. Joshua Dines practices sports medicine at the Hospital for Special Surgery. He's cautiously optimistic about this new technique. He says we won't know really how well it works for a few more years since it's so new. For a small portion of patients, having this balloon, which we didn't have before, potentially becomes a good treatment option. And I say potentially because for me personally, I need to see more data. Anyone who has had a rotator cuff tear knows firsthand how painful the injury can be, as well as the surgery and months long recovery. This is just another tool for doctors they hope restores a patient's shoulder movement and relieves pain more quickly. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.